both chennai nfc and bangalore fc are coming off a victory in their respective opening encounter against atk mohan bagan and north east united the marina matchins will be playing for the first time in front of their home fans after 2 years having last played in the semi final against fc goa winning 4-1 in the home leg in isl season 6 bangalore fc on the other hand will come in with confidence having won the durand cup and the opening match in the isl the stakes chennai nfc the marina matchins got off to a perfect start winning against the formidable atk mohan bagan in an away game the team have not won consecutive matches for more than 2 years and this time they will be hoping to win in front of their home fans to set the record straight the right and left back along with the midfield had fared poorly in the first game which is an area of concerns for head coach thomas brederick to look after the stakes bangalore fc bfc won a close encounter against north east united with alan costa scoring the match winning goal the blues created 17 chances but could only get two shots on target with two of the best striker in the league in roy krishna and sunil chetri this is a major concerns for simon grayson team news for bangalore fc prince ibara is yet to return to training and is therefore out of this game the rest of the players are available to coach simon grayson chennai nfc's vinci bareto and alexander romelu jesuraj are still not available for selection head to head both teams have met each other 11 times since bangalore fc's inception in the isl in 2017 Among these Bangalore holds a good lead with 6 wins. Chennai NFC have won the encounter thrice while the other two have finished in draws. This could be the probable lineup of Chennai NFC. And this could be the probable lineup of Bangalore FC. players to watch kwame kari kari from chennai nfc the 30 year old ghanian scored a goal and provided an assist after coming on as a substitute in his maiden isl match kari kari covered good ground running backward and fighting for the ball sliskovic lacked that ability and was looked to aerial balls to come in through the midfielders which weren't provided bridrick will look to carry forward the momentum and might put kari kari ahead of sliskovic in the starting 11 Alan Costa from Bangalore FC the tall center back will play a huge role in negating the in front Kwame Kari Kari Alan Costa scored a goal from a corner kick against North East and is always a threat at set pieces for any opposition but again Chennai NFC he will have to go past the sturdy pair of Alo Diagne and Buffer who had performed well in the last encounter now it's time for some facts Chennai NFC have not beaten Bangalore FC since ISL 5 that is 2019 season. Chennai NFC are unbeaten in their last four home games, winning 3. Simon Grayson guided Bangalore FC to their first trophy which was Durand Cup in 2022 since the 1819 season. Telecast the match between Chennai NFC and Bangalore FC will take place at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Chennai on 14 October. The kick off time is at 7:30 p.m. according to Indian Standard Time. The match will be telecasted live on the Star Sports Network, Disney Plus, Hotstar and Jio TV and Indian Sports News on YouTube. What do you think who is going to win this match? Chennai NFC or Bangalore FC? Comment down your answer in the comment box. So that is it for today. Hope you like the video. Subscribe our channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to press the bell icon so you may never miss any update. And also don't forget to like share and comment